Hi, I'm Peter Haddock. I'm here at the Operator Skills Hub and I'm talking to Dominic. Dominic, we're talking about impacts today and you're an operator with Flannery, but also you're going to be part of the team here at the Operator Skills Hub that's actually delivering training. First yeah. of all, tell me about your journey with Flannery and the training that you've actually had yourself. I started with Flannery six, seven, maybe eight years ago now. Brilliant company to work for. I've always been comfortable working here. Nothing's ever been a problem. Anything I've ever been sure, sure of, questions have always been answered. From a training point of view, anything that I've needed help with, they've always helped me with. There, there is more than enough training provided here so that if there isn't the answer available, they'll go and find the answer so they'll come back to me with the correct answer. So you, you feel more than comfortable in what you're training in. There is never, uh, is this right for me? Am I going to be doing the right thing? I always felt reassured with it. And I think that's one of the big impacts that we have in this industry. We get training right. One, we keep people like you for six years and you're carrying on your career and you're going to actually give back as a trainer in the future. But tell me what are the pieces of equipment you've actually learnt on and, and some of the technologies that you've actually been able to get trained on as well? I've learnt on dozers, wheeled excavators. I've, I've seen other people learning on other items of kits, such as tractors, I've seen the training. I've been there when they've been training the GPS lads, I've been involved in the GPS training. Seeing operators come from not knowing how the GPS works to seeing it out there on site. Seeing it worked, you know, properly and actually not people just thinking, oh, it's going to put me out of a job and, oh, you know, it's not the right thing. Using it to its full potential is so much better. It makes your life so much easier. And this is the impacts that we talk about, folks. We talk about the fact that, you know, there's a, a huge investment in new equipment mm. and technologies and data now, yeah. Dominic, that you've been able to use. The telemetry systems now actually send data back through so that you can look at that data and, and, and actually look at how your performance is and then say, look, guys, look, the training I've just had on yeah. this piece of equipment has allowed me to be more efficient and reduce my fuel burn, for example. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, you can be on site where you could have an excavator similar to this one working with some dump trucks and a dozer, and the engineers can then send a live model updated to the machine, to the dozer, and then let site know that they've live linked it so then that if a, a model changes or if they want to step into the next stage of the programme, it can be done without engineers being on site. So then when you're looking at your people plant interface, you, you're taking that element of danger away. There doesn't need to be engineers knocking pins in on site, walking between the machines, stopping the job, stopping the machinery. It can all be done from the office and then just letting the lads know that are in the cabs, the men and the women, that it's been done so the job can continue and progress can continue. And what's interesting here about the Operator Skills Hub is that we've actually got simulators that allow you to, to have that initial training mm. and I guess awareness of the products, because yeah. there's different types of products from different yeah, um, yeah. providers, isn't there? To then, before you get on site, you have that awareness and that training, uh, and you can actually work with a team of people. You can yeah, actually yeah. be loading that dump truck with somebody next to you on a simulator, can't you? Yeah, that's exactly it. Your site could be briefing you and your engineers could be briefing you, showing your model on, say the trim earth works or the Leica system, and then you'll have a familiarization with it already that you won't be going into it blind. You'll understand what they're saying. So when they're asking you to select a certain model, work to certain lines, cut and fill areas, you have an understanding before you're even on site of what is asked of you. And that's making a big impact, folks. And I think what's also making a big impact, we're talking to your colleague, Chris Matthew, recently, yeah. about how they're using data from machines. So idle times, also how they're using payload data, but also how they're using a lot of the information that comes from the mixed fleet into one dashboard system with machine max. And fundamentally, that sort of information is being fed back to you yes. as an operator and also as a trainer. How is that helping you in then doing your job as an operator, but then the training that you're going to be doing with others? Oh, it's helping phenomenally because you can see the productivity of different machines. You can see what works better in certain environments. You can see where the right machine is capable for the right job, where it's, it's not quite, it's too big, it's too small. Information like that is key in construction. And so one of the things that we've talked about earlier before uh, we had this conversation was actually about the impact that all of that has on a team yeah. as well. Because on site, we're not just individual operators and machines. We're part of a team, aren't we? And when that team knows that they're actually doing as the best job that they can, it makes a big impact to, to the whole team oh, mentality, in, doesn't it? Incredibly, incredibly. We could have a, a project ongoing that's starting at one end, starting the other end, and we could meet in the middle. And it just works simultaneously, that we're all on the same sheet and it just flows lovely. 
And when we talk about sustainability, when I talk about ESG and all these sort of big topics and stuff, it's all about the people, isn't it? And yeah. I think, Dominic, when you look at things and when you can say, look, here's the CO2 emissions that I've removed from the job site. Here's the efficiency gains that I've got so that actually projects can be delivered on time or even under budget, for example. Yeah, you know, all of these sort of impacts make you as an individual proud of what you're doing, don't they? Oh, definitely. It's nice to be involved in such grand projects and to see that, you know, such as the HS2 now, I'll never be on a project as big as that again in my lifetime, but it's nice that you are involved in it to say that, yes, I was there and that Flannery's machines are on the job and we worked on the job and we did our bit for the environment where we could. And the impact of the construction digger sector, as such that I call it, is the fact that we dig the earth that allows us to lay the foundations, whether that's buildings, where we are today, whether that's HS2, whether that's the roads that are around us where we are today. We make things happen, don't yeah. we, Dominic? And we have a big impact on the whole environment, where people live, where they travel, where they work, and the things they do, don't we? Yes, we do, we do. Everyone has their little part to play, shall we say. You know, even when you go to work, if you're sitting in traffic, you're still doing your part. You know, we have these cars now that turn themselves on and off. The machines tell you if you're idling for too long, sitting there, do you need the engine running just to charge your phone and just to listen to the radio? Do you need it on? If you don't need it on, turn it off, because we've all got our little part to do. And that's it from me and Dominic, because the little, little bits all add up. It's the one percents that add up for me, folks. It's the Dominics in this world that come from being an operator with the business, having the training, recognising the value of that, and the value of the systems and the equipment and the data to so much so Dominic that you are now transforming yourself into one of those trainers so you can give back to the other operators and the new people coming through here great to see your journey I'd love to follow it cheers Thank you.